Hey everyone, welcome back. And in the last video, we did a lot of digivolving, and we did a lot of cases. In this episode, we are going to look at this clue this girl mentioned. I mentioned we saw it in the last video, but now we're going to go and act on her little problem. Burr, the back entrance is so c cold. It's a little better here at least. So now we gotta go investigate this little situation. See, now we got a little problem here, and this same guy right here is pointing us to the problem. Whoa, it's f freezing in here. Did the AC break or something? So now we. There will be incidents like this uh, where Digimon will affect the wor the real world, but it won't be as a case. We'll have to investigate it on our own and and solve it ourselves. Oh. Huh? Her voice cut out. I wonder what's up. Me again, I've got a new case for you. Why don't you drop on by so we can talk? See, now it becomes a case because we discovered it. So now we, now we gotta go back and, and accept the case. Time Capsule Snow Woman. Co client, Broadway Management. Place Broadway. There is something wrong with the air conditioning in Broadway. Find the cause. Uh, we get a ex farm expansion. We get our first farm expansion when we do this. From what I gather, the air conditioning inside not not gonna Broadway is on the fritz. It just keeps pumping in cold air con constantly, and nobody can switch the heating on. Thing is, nobody can find anything wrong with it, and the business is our loss about what to do. Blah. That's where we come in. People aren't getting much work done, so I told them to leave it to us. Uh, cats. Breaking my shit again. If we can get to the bottom of this mess, I'm sure they'll just love us forever for it. Oh, I'm getting another call. Oh, it's the girl again. Huh, you keep getting tr transmissions from someone. Hmm. Well, isn't she a cutie? The white noise in this is really bad. I can't make out what she's saying. Where is this coming? Damn it. Damn it, cut out. <laughs> what? You're saying the same transmission came in where it was cold? Hmm. We might be closing in on the cause. If so, our next step is to resolve this thing. Plain and simple. I'm going to see if I can figure out the signal's origin. You ask around about the air conditioning. Yeah, so now we have to just go around, see anything popping up about the air conditioning. It's just we go this way, see if there's no nope, nobody's got a response about it. Uh, probably up on the floors. Let's go to each floor and see who has a complaint about it. Yeah, and we can check out all the other stuff up here. See? Oh, there's something. Agumon Expert Metal. And these are just places you can visit. There's not really anything you can buy here. Restaurant, used books. This is where you can get food. Uh, it's not really us, but we can do it anyway. This is the bookstores. And then, oh yeah, we also have the stairs. I forgot about the stairs. Uh, there's a video game area, and there's an access point here. All the way up on the fourth floor. Uh, if we are going to check somewhere, we got to check here the most. Yeah, there we go. You want to know how the AC broke? 
beats me. I have no idea. It's odd. We don't have a central unit anymore, so how could everyone's AC go up? Huh? You don't know about the central unit? Back when this place first opened, there was a big underground unit that controlled the AC for the whole building. Sure feels like an sure feels like the old central unit going out. The way it worked was that everyone's store circulated that cool air up in so their stores with fans. Huh? Why was there a central unit underground at all? Well, that was to refrigerate a certain something. <laughs> what do you think it was? It was Japan's old vacuum tube computer. Can you believe it? The room that that computer was housed in was right here in Nakano. Sad to say, I have no idea what happened to it. There's nothing left of it anymore. And even if it were, there's nothing. there are no record, records left. Nobody remembers where it was either. The room itself might as well be an urban legend. I can tell you one thing, it's really cold. Although it's done wonders for coffee sales today. I figured out where the signal came from. So get back to the office when you can, alright? Alright. What's going on? Nice work with your investigation. Now what have you got to report? Ugh. Speaking too fast. Hmm. This is the first I've heard of that computer room. But with that info, it's all starting to click for me now. Like I mentioned before, I figured out who the girl in those transmissions is. Her name is Fuyumi Yuki. She was a breakout idol from a few decades back. What we've been seeing, the avatar on the screen, is her when she was in her prime as an idol. Somebody is therefore using a terminal inside Nakano Broadway and Broadcast broadcasting her likeness and the signal it seems to be coming from the fourth floor looking at the map it's right inside a wall at K cafe the whole thing has played out like a horror story hasn't it a long lost isle relaying her message from inside a wall but with your report it's all coming together now we're uncovering a piece of not going Broadway's history that's not even that not even the owner of K cafe has the go-to historian could claim to know but enough talk, it's time to head back to K-Cafe. I'll be coming along for this one, too. Yeah, we just... I got a message from a girl when I answered it. It got cold of his son. It's the snow woman. She cursed us. It has to be her. I can hardly believe it, but it definitely has been really ch ch chilly in here. I've got a bad feeling about this. Maybe I'll just go home. Heh. Yeah. The snow woman. The M.O. sure does fit with the folktale, though. Even the woman, even the idol's name, Fuyumi Yuki, means winter snow woman. Snow woman herself shows up in a lot of stories from regions with cold climates. Definitely the first time she's taken form as an 80s, an old 80s idol. But it's pretty fitting for not going to Broadway, all things considered. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. I don't think that's a good thing. Still, if we don't act quickly, she's going to damage his, his, his reputation. So let's get a move on already. <coughs> oh, there it is. This is it. The transmission should be coming from the other side of from here. Yet there's no door and there are no signals. Signs of the wall being tampered with. What's going on here? Another transmission. That just about confirms we're in the right spot then. I don't I don't like the looks of this. It's like she noticed us trying to meddle with her. And now it's even colder. You're probably less affected by her tricks thanks to your unique body. Oh, did you find something? I see it, so there's an entry point into cyberspace inside that wall. Don't worry about me. You go on ahead and get in there. Oh, it is a cyberspace. Oh, Kenny Man.
Oh yeah, I forgot I had a lot of baby Pokemon. Fuck me. Did you my ugh. It's been a long time since I played this game, and the last time I played this game was before Sun and Moon came out. So it's very easy for me to fuck up on that. Oh my god! I forgot what this was called. Karamon. You don't remember this, Digimon. You didn't see, uh... The... Digimon movie. That's the Digimon that went around... Making shit crazy... In cyberspace, corrupting... Corrupting electricity and everything. It was so awesome. Such a good game. But I didn't know I would run into it here. Oh, there. There it is. You came. Thank you. Please help me. Oh, it's a Wanyamon. Oh no, it's a Frigimon! Colder. It's not cold enough. Not until everyone is frozen. Oh dear, we gotta battle a Frigimon. Oh! That is very deadly. Very deadly. Very deadly. Heal up, Terriermon. Luckily, hopefully, no. Ugh. Fuck me for not having appropriate Digimon for this shit. I have no data Digimon yet. And it's dressing fucking wild. Because my Agumon is a fire type, it affects him worse. And he's also a virus, so it also does worse. I don't think these guys will do much better, it though. Yep. Microphone. Microphone. Don't fall off. And Aura will heal him up really good. Yeah, the tiny one doesn't have any, uh, shit that would be helpful. That's working great, but it's not enough to get. Oh, damn it. I might be coming back. Oh, that's good. Miss. If I could survive with two of them, that would be great. I don't think I will, though. Nope! <laughs> ah, fuck. Nope. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, oh wait, I forgot about the other one. Ugh. Fuck's sake. Okay, then I have them. Fuck! 
took out everybody but one. Ugh. And the dodge. Burr, it was so cold. Thanks for taking care of him. That was one nasty glitch. You saved the day, really. You must have come over when you heard my voice, right? You didn't? Your cyber suit's working a case. I don't really get it. But whatever. All's well that ends well. Frigimon's rampage really did cause so much trouble. Huh? Who am I? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't really know myself. I've been stuck asleep inside this wall the whole time, you see? You're so cute. Hey, it's finally stopped blowing cold air here. Great job, you did so much, you must be tired. It would have been a real sad state of affairs if we'd somehow managed to freeze to death here in Tokyo of all places. Hmm? You found a cat Digimon with amnesia? Well, you solved one mystery, only to stumble into another, it seems. Come back here and we'll look into it. An amnesiac Digimon, huh? Every time I think I've seen everything, I get proven wrong yet again. I take those transmissions with Fuyu, Fuyumi Yuki where you're doing then. Yep, I wasn't able to move around once Frigimon started going crazy, so I had to call for help somehow, and I sent out, sent out those messages. Well, I did come from a vacuum tube computer inside a wall. That means that vacuum tube, vacuum tube computer was really there behind the wall this whole time. I've been asleep inside that computer for a really long time. I only woke up just recently. And when I did, I had no idea who I was or what I was doing inside that wall. So I decided to go and see what I could learn. That's when I stumbled upon an intranet connecting the vacuum tube computer to the rest of the building. Intranet? You must mean network lines that only operate inside Nakano Broadway. Yeah, so I was just playing around. That was when Frigimon suddenly appeared. He was originally a Digimon that was created as a result of a glitch in the air conditioning system. Ah, cat. Stop fucking with my, my mouse. But he managed to use the internet to sneak into the vacuum to the computer I was living in. I see, it all makes sense now. That must have been why nobody could find anything wrong with the system when they checked it. Frigimon just went completely insane and wouldn't listen to me. Eventually, I couldn't even move with all that constant cold. It was terrible. How awful. I had no idea. Hard to believe such an old computer was even so operational to begin with, too. But its existence is probably a remnant of the centralized AC system the K Cafe owner mentioned before. The wiring must have been hooked up pretty poorly for Frigimon to be able to wreck such havoc then. And... Therein lies the root of how this all managed to happen. I imagine even our conversation right now must be going through the, that intranet as well. By the way, is there a reason why you chose appearing as an idol in those transmissions? Why, she was just cute, I guess. Um, it's simple. I just thought someone cute like her makes someone want to come in and help me. I picked... Ugh, kitty. Hey, Athena. I picked Fumiyumi Yuki specifically because, well, she was amazing when she was really popular. She could sing, she could dance, and her looks. Fumiyumi had everything you could want in an idol. Oh yeah. There was also a world's fair around the time her career was really starting to take off. There was such a long line for the moon rocks. Wait, why do I remember that? I don't even know my own name. Get it! I get off. Okay. I think I get what's going on here. It looks like we've uncovered a decades-old time capsule. Time capsule? What's that? The members aren't just raw bits of information. They're more than that. They have a certain humanity to them, let's say. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Fuck it, cat. Ugh. Screw everything up. Uh, 
I bet you're somebody's old memory stashed away along with that vacuum tube computer you've been living in. That's what time capsules are for. That's what I am? But memories are not. That doesn't make you any less empathetic a creature to encounter. Either way, this case is wrapped up now. We'll look into what's up with this cat Digimon later. Truly, there's no other place like, quite like Nakano. Okay, that's finished up for now. Done! Silly, you have a real knack for getting us involved in a lot of stuff, so thanks for always keeping it interesting around here. Chapter 3. Digital Monster. Would you stop messing with my shit? You called for me, Nokia? What is it? ごめんね。いきなり呼び出しちゃって。迷惑だったかな。あの、君に聞いてほしいことがあって。ダメ。その。私。私ね。あ、いや。ちょっと待って。カメラ。I Oh, Nokia's got a request for us. つまり、依頼人は君の友人君。何報酬さえ頂戴できるなら依頼人を選ばない。だいじゃあ、ベッキリ。いや、あの、友達に頼み事があっただけなんですけど。え、スタート。え、ベイ。そういうわけにはいか
尋ね人ならぬ尋ねデジモンか電脳探偵にふさわしい依頼内容じゃないか I'm gonna kill some cats when I'm done with this. <laughs> よろしいでは早速調査を開始したまえうん私がいつもより楽しそうだってそう見えるなら否定はしないだが事実を告げるならばデジモンを探してくれなどという突飛な依頼に少々戸惑っているのだよ愛着を抱くことに関して人はとことん無頓着なのだなリアルだろうがデジタルだろうがお構いなしだ実に面白いじゃないか<笑>
right now. I'm just gonna buy some shit. So we have shit. And I'm gonna start using these. I just been too busy. There we go, enough of those. Okay, and um uh, Yeah, that'll be it for now. We will start uh uh, Nokia's little request the next time. I will make... Sorry this is very short. It's not very good for me to have them short sometimes, but right now I gotta have it short because, you know, it's crap. It's crap, but uh, we'll get into it the next time. Thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Sorry, my cat's we're once again a disgrace. Thank you. Hope you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.